Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a basic slideshow, like the one we can see on this website, which has um, two controls, a left and right control, and an indicator down here. We are going to be having a slideshow right on this website, where we have this welcome to our website text. So we are going to replace this text in our source code and have a slideshow. To do that, we go to Power Pages. Then in Power Pages, we're going to select Edit on the website that we want to modify. This is going to take us to the Power Pages Designer Studio to deep dive into it by editing the code. So I go to Edit Code, then open Visual Studio Code. Now, there's been a lot of changes in Visual Studio Code whereby we no longer just have access to the particular page but now we have access to other resources like the list, the web files and the web templates but we're not going to dive deep into that for now we are just interested in adding the code to develop our slideshow in our code source what we are going to do is to look for the welcome to our website message which is here and we can see it's embedded in the paragraph so i'm just going to select this remove it Oh, I cut off some other parts, so I just want to remove the paragraph, so we leave the D. Okay, right here I'm going to paste my code. Okay, so this is basically using a carousel in order to render the slideshow. So I'm just briefly going to explain what um, the code is all about. So we are adding a div to the website. And in that div, we declare um, we have an ID because the ID is compulsory when you're using carousel. Then you have the class carousel to indicate that yeah, this div is a carousel div. Then you have slide. Slide here simply represents the animation. That is, if you go to this website and you see the animation that is happening between um, the images, that is what the call. That's what um, the effect of slide. But you can change it to other effects. Then just below we have the indicators. This is the code which is an ordered list whereby you specify the target the data target here just represents the id of the carousel then you have the data slide tool which indicates um, the image which you should move to on clicking the indicators so those indicators are just below this one you have here you see just by clicking the indicators you have the images navigating that is due to this piece of code here then the next one are the slides actually so here i have just basically three images for the slides so you have the first one with the div class item when you define in your div when you specify item it means okay this is one of the images i want to put in this particular div then you have the image and you have the source yeah the source is just the location of your image so i added like three of them in the div and that's it then the last one is just to add the controls so just below down here we have the code necessary for the controls the controls and the website here represent this two controls that you see at this age in this other website so i think that's just all you need to add for your slideshow so the next thing we're going to do is just to save so I can use Ctrl S to save or you go to file and you also click save. So once everything is safe, we go back to our designer studio and we synchronize our changes. So once the synchronization is done, we should be able to see our slideshow right on our home page right here in our designer studio. So the synchronization is done and here we already can see our slideshow. So let's go and refresh our page. Great. Now you can see that we have a very beautiful slideshow on the page with our controls working and our indicators are working. That's beautiful. Now this actually even gives me an idea. It's like since we were using actually code to modify and we are moving into an era of low code i think what i will do next is to build a component that is going to enable um, low code users to just add the component and be able to configure the type of transition the transition duration yeah yeah that's a great idea okay thank you guys for watching and 
see you in our next tutorial.